The West Fargo Park District is offering up a class for kids to help teach them about safety and about shooting sports. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is joining us live this morning from the Red River Regional Marksmanship Center and uh, has more on this class that can get kids uh, handling guns. Christy? Well, you said it, Kyle. You know, this is a class that not only teaches kids marksmanship, but it also introduces them a safe way into shooting sports. And we do have Rob Saylor here with us, who is in charge of the programs and a board member here. Now, Rob, this class is for kids of, you know, kind of all ages, as mm -hmm. long as they're getting interested in guns. This is the way to do it. Yep, we usually start them out at uh, an air pistol. We start them at seven years old. An air rifle, we start them out at nine, just because the rifles are a little more difficult to deal with. But the primary focus of the, of the classes are getting them a safe introduction to handguns and rifles. And so one of the things we stress is how to handle firearms safely, what to not to do during, um, during your first shooting sessions, and then how to basically uh, line your sights up and press your trigger. That's really the most, uh, most important part of hitting your target. So safety, line your sights up, press your trigger. <laughs> and I know you guys also do a lecture before each class, and it is a four-week class. And you know, Kyle, we do already have a story up on valleynewslive.com. And of course, throughout the whole Valley today, we'll be giving you more information and showing you a little bit more of the details into this class being offered for kids. All right, Christy Larson reporting live this morning from the Red River Regional Marksmanship Center. Christy, thank you very much. A class is now being offered in the Valley teaching kids how to safely use guns as well as introducing them to shooting sports. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is live this morning at the Red River Regional Marksmanship Center with a lot more on what kids are doing in class to learn about safety. Christy? Well, Kyle, you know, they really do take all the safety precautions very seriously here, and that's why we are learning about this class and also, you know, introducing parents to this is the right way to get your kids introduced into shooting sports. And as you can see, Rob Saylor and I have already taken one step and put on our safety glasses here, but you said that there's about five rules that everyone should kind of pay attention to that you guys teach everyone. What are those five? The five rules that we teach are keep your muzzle pointed in the safe direction, keep your fingers off your triggers until you're ready to fire, uh, treat every gun like it's loaded, don't trust a safety because they're just mechanical devices and they can't fail, and then wash your hands when you're done shooting because you do touch lead and so lead can be toxic, so don't eat the pellets is what I always tell the kids. <laughs> and now when you're talking about pointing it in the safe direction, and again, we've, we went over this a little bit this morning together, um, it's not just forward, but you also do have angles that you have to pay attention to. Yep, we typically say that a 45 degree angle uh, from the muzzle is considered the danger zone uh, from that muzzle. So anything outside of that is where we want to uh, keep the muzzle safe. And now, of course, when you guys are teaching kids and instructing them in class, you guys always go over these safety, you know, things first. Absolutely. The, the first session of the class is usually about a 45-minute lecture. Um, we talk a lot about gun safety rules, but we also talk about sight alignment and trigger control, the basics of marksmanship. And then during each class, we usually do about five to ten minutes of refresher, mm -hmm. and we cover those safety rules hard again before anybody touches a gun. And it's always good to go over those safety rules, no matter how many times you've heard them, always re-putting them in. And you know, Kyle, we are actually going to be showing you and demonstrating the proper way to hold them. I've been getting lessons in between during this morning, and I was also here the other day. So we'll be showing you a demonstration on the proper way for stance and how to handle some of these air pistols and rifles that we have with us this morning. All right, Christy Larson reporting live this morning. And important topic of gun safety and also important to get kids. I know a lot of them around this area are introduced into hunting at an early mm -hmm. age. I know I was with the Hunter Safety Education course. So it's one of those things that you can take a step down the road and maybe introduce them to a passion they'll have their entire life. That's right. West Fargo Park District is teaming up with the Red River Regional Marksmanship Center to offer kids an introduction to shooting sports. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is live from that center for us this morning. Christy, what are really some of the goals that they're looking for when they're teaching kids about marksmanship? Well, you know, Kyle, we mentioned it earlier before, but this class really is to get kids just that introductory level into marksmanship. It's telling them how to safely use a handgun, also how to uh, use triggering and their sight. And we do have Rob Saylor here who is in charge of programs. And you know, Rob, here's a demonstration of how the classroom's set up. You guys can start kids as early as seven, but 
that's when you start to use things like this foam cube here. Yep, what we do typically is we'll start them in the, what's called seated supported position. And what they'll do is they'll take the air gun and they'll rest it on the foam while they're seated. That'll help give them good support and help make it easier to deliver that good shot. Now once they demonstrate a good proficiency there, we move them into what's called a standing supported position. And basically what happens is they'll hold the gun up and rest it on this little sling, which is basically a counterweight to take up some of the weight of the gun. Mm -hmm. This will allow them to get their shoulders and the rest of their body into the shot process. And then once they get done with that process, they move into what's called international standing position, which is just holding the gun up with one arm. Right. So. And you know, he's been teaching me these safety lessons all morning. And as you can see, we're going to move back down this way. I took a few practice shots earlier. So we're going to put a new target on this morning and show you one more time. There's a few different stances that you can use. And let me just put this in there. I'm going to show you guys my stance, which is, which one do I use again? You're using the isosceles stance. Okay. So Kyle, I'm going to try and take a practice shot for you this morning. All right, we're checking it out. And I know Christy has been working on this the last couple of days. So uh, we did see one in the center there, so not too bad. Hopefully she can pop another one in here on live television. Oh. So what's the result, Christy? We all we're waiting to see. Hey, hey, hey. That's in the Seven black. Points, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Christy Larson working on her shooting skills this Monday morning right here on the Valley Today. Something that kids can really get into thanks to the uh, Red River Regional Marksmanship Club. Sounds great, Christy. Thank you very much. There's now a class in the Valley that is teaching kids the sport of shooting and also introducing them to important lessons about gun safety. It's happening through the West Fargo Park District and the Red River Regional Marksmanship Center. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is joining us live this morning with more on uh, those safety lessons and those shooting lessons. And Christy, I got to say, not a bad shot last time you were live on the air. Well, thanks, Kyle. And that was actually with an air pistol. And now with Rob Saylor here, who is the program or here, he was going to show us now what they do with the air rifles. And of course, there's you guys move them on their way up too. Yep, we typically start them with something like a you know the old-fashioned Daisy Red Rider BB guns. Uh, they'll start out with here. Uh, they'll move up into something a little more competitive. It's got a little better sights. And then as they progress in capability, we move them into sporter air rifle. And then if they still want to keep doing it, they go into precision air rifle, which are these two. Now, once they get into these two, precision air rifle, there's some other equipment that goes along with that. And those are these big, heavy pants, canvas and leather pants, and then a shooting coat, the boots, and the gloves. And that's all to provide stability for the kids when they're shooting. And you know, you guys teach kids as early as seven, and you actually have some people going, you know, and competing elsewhere as well. Yeah, we have a team that's going to uh, Progressive Position Pistol Nationals in, in um, Colorado Springs here in uh, three weeks, actually. And you guys have how many people going there? We have a three-man team going. So. And it's really one way that you can really introduce them is just by starting with the class and maybe then they're more interested in doing the competitions and things. Absolutely. Typically, we run, um, you know, we'll run 100 kids through a class in a given year and maybe five or 10 of those will want to continue on and get into competition. And it is about learning about the safety first, of course. Maybe they don't want to get competitive, but it is a way to teach them the proper use of using these firearms. And you know, Kyle, he's going to bring his daughter with us for the next time we are on the Valley today. And we're going to have a little competition. I think she has an advantage, though, a little bit of practice and a <laughs> dad as a coach. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Christy Larson reporting live. And like you said, yes, yeah, some of these kids maybe will pick up a, a competitive aspect from the sport, but really the safety lessons are the key and something that they'll stick with their entire lives. Christy Larson again reporting live this morning. A class that is teaching kids alignment, trigger control, and, of course, gun safety is now being offered through the Red River Regional Marksmanship Center. The Valley Today's Christy Larson has been live there all morning with uh, not only talk about what is offered as far as safety, but also doing a little work herself and what kids can learn about shooting. 
Well, you said it, Kyle. All of those things are taught in the kids' class, and we do have that information up on valleynewslive.com, but also here with Rob Saylor, who is a board member. Rob, you guys offer open shooting and, of course, women's nights so that people can get practice. Absolutely. We have uh, various open shooting. It depends a little bit on the summer and the winter. Uh, winter is our busier time. But uh, every uh, starting in September, again, we do have one Friday a month where we have ladies' night only. And so it's, uh, there are no men allowed in the range other than the coaches. Uh, and it gives a, a nice introduction to women who might be a little bit unfamiliar with the sport. And of course, you know, Kyle, I did tell you that his daughter Kayla here is with us this morning. She told me it's all about having fun. So Kayla and I are going to take our little friendship competition going on here and do one last shot today this morning. All right, Christy wasn't bad on her first shot, but I've got to say, if I'm going to bet on anybody, I'm betting on uh, Kayla on this one. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how things go here as they get ready. Got this slide and put your thumb. See, Christy getting a little extra coaching. Kayla's gotten uh, plenty of coaching already. One, two, and they're coming back. Christy, not bad, and we'll see. Can we see Kayla's shot at all? Ah, oh, Kayla with the victory. I picked the right person there. Not bad, though. Not bad shooting by both.